Hey guys, this is Channel of India, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bootable ISO for Windows 10. You can just follow the same steps for making a bootable ISO for uh, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, uh, Windows 7, and Windows Vista. You guys may not have an ISO file, but don't worry, we can create an ISO file. Uh, you're gonna need few things to do this. First of all, you need a program called ImageBurn. I'll leave a download link for it in the description. You can download it from there and go ahead and install it in your in your computer and then you need uh, files which is extracted from an iso in this case i have a uh, windows 10 files which is extracted from an iso now let's see how to do this just open image burn click on create image file from files folder now uh, click on this button over here then select the folder which contains the operating system files in this case I have a, a folder in the desktop so I'm gonna select this and click on select folder and then come down here and click on this button and choose a location where you want to save your output file and you can even change the name if you want to then click on save and then go to advanced tab then to bootable disk tab check make image bootable you, you need not change anything in uh, emulation type and in the boot image click on this button and go inside the folder which contains the operating system files and you will find a folder named boot go inside it and you should see this file called etfs boot click on it and click on open you need not change platform id developer id load segment and in the sectors load if you want to make bootable iso for uh, windows 10 or 8.1 or 8 or 7 just enter 8 and if you want to make bootable iso for vista then enter 4 so in this case i'm i'm going to make a bootable iso for 10 so i'm going to enter 8 then click on build and click on yes and click on OK. You can see that uh, it is creating the ISO file. So let's just wait for this to complete. You can see that the operation has been successfully completed. Click on OK and go ahead and close image burn. You can also see that our bootable ISO for Windows 10 has been created successfully. And now you can uh, make a bootable USB from this ISO or you can even just run it in virtual box if you want to so that's it guys i hope this video is useful and if you like this video just hit the like button below and to see more useful videos like this just subscribe us and thanks for watching